Hey, what's up YouTube? So I'm back with another video. And in my last video, I showed you guys how I placed my order for the Tesla Model 3 long range, uh, white standard Rams, uh, no autopilot. And I told you guys that I was planning on financing the car through Tesla because they were giving this 2.49% APR. And so uh, I applied that same day for the Tesla loan. And I got an email the next day saying that unfortunately my Tesla loan had been declined. Um, and then I'll show you guys this email. So this is the email I got and in it. It says that we were declined and it says some reasons as to why we were declined. It says that we had uh, insufficient income, excessive debt obligations, insufficient uh, credit history, and uh, credit does not meet minimum qualifications. And in it, it says that, oh, they might change their mind and approve us if we have a joint applicant that we can add to the registration that has like these uh, great credit and sufficient incomes. So when you read through that email, it's a pretty generic email that they probably send to a lot of people when they're rejected. And they give you a couple of reasons, but they, they're not very specific. So I reached out to um, the analyst and I asked him like, oh, what is it that we can do to get approved through the Tesla loan? And he messaged me back saying that it wasn't because we didn't make enough money or any of that, but it's because we have no significant credit history taking out a mortgage or buying a, another car and having paid off that loan. And because of that, we they wouldn't uh, take our application without a co-applicant, another co-applicant that has very good credit and has these qualities. So when you read through that email, they tell us that they uh, would suggest applying with a co-applicant that has that quality of significant credit that has paid that back. And we kind of thought about it and I thought that my mother would be a good choice because she has paid off car loans, she has a mortgage and stuff like that. But there still wasn't that guarantee that Tesla would approve us again. And if you apply through Tesla again, they're going to rerun your credit. So given that, we thought that I would apply through my federal credit union. It would be me and my mother on the application because we've banked with that bank for a long time. I've been there myself for over 10 years, ever since I was 15 and a half. And then my mother has been there for over 20 years. So we have that kind of rapport with them that I've paid back my credit cards. My mom's paid off her mortgage and her credit cards. And so there's that rapport already. And so they will most likely um, have a better chance of approving us. In comparison to Tesla, Tesla has partner banks of which they give that loan through. So Tesla, I hear partners with Chase and Bank of America, and I believe there's one other major bank that they partner with to get you that loan of 2.49%. But the thing is, even if we were to apply again, there's no guarantee that we would get that 2.49% APR. That is the lowest that they are currently doing. So because me and my mother don't have that rapport with those banks, I highly doubt that we would get that percent interest rate regardless. So I went along and I applied with my mother through the uh, school's first credit union and they were doing their current car loans are 2.69% for um, five years, 2.99% for six years and over three point something percent for seven years. Given that this is what they offered me, um, and your situation, if you apply through them or if you apply through your federal uh, credit union, they may have different rates. But even if those rates may be a little bit different, I would suggest if you have a federal credit union, going out and checking them out because they usually have interest rates that are significantly lower than those commercial banks. And if, even if you don't bank with a federal credit union, you can always try to apply with them and kind of just let them know right off the bat that you are looking for a car loan and just see what they can do for you. In my experience, federal credit unions are very friendly, very eager to help, and I have only can say positive things about them. So just go ahead and check your neighborhood federal credit union, see what they can do if Tesla, for whatever reason, doesn't approve you, or if you just don't want to bank through Tesla for whatever the reason. Because I can say that after I applied with a Schools First, I was approved that same day for a loan amount of over $42,000. So that made me ecstatic because then we were back on track to getting the vehicle. I just had to update my application and reach out to my advisor through Tesla telling her that we had got our own bank loan and that that's how we oh, were going to pay the, for the car. And then she went along and she just go, uh, she changed the applicant co-applicant information on the application. 
and then she just sent us another email telling her that telling us that it's all set and that I just wait to hear from her again or from a delivery person on further details on what's to come for when the car is ready. I've been waiting for around two weeks um, and I still haven't heard back yet, but the thing that the site says it could be from four to five weeks before delivery, given that they just ended their second quarter, I doubt that I'm likely to hear uh, soon from Tesla because uh, I hear that they usually tend to push cars out closer to the end of the third quarter for the states and they kind of tend to focus on the um, on Europe and international in the beginning of the quarter but we'll see I can always keep you guys informed and let you know and if you guys enjoyed this video thumbs up and subscribe and just kind of let me know if if there's something else that you guys would want to know about my application process or my experience um, with Tesla and I can make a video about it. Alright, so thanks for watching. See you guys.